What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now, if you're anything like me and you're thinking of upgrading from the a7 III to the a7R5, you shoot a lot of night photography, you're probably wondering how it performs at night time. So today, we're just gonna be comparing the two and see how the noise performs on them both. Um, we'll jump over into Lightroom, we'll get straight into it. All right, so we are in Lightroom. Um, down the bottom here, the five stars is the a7R5. And down the bottom, the one star here is the A7 III. All right, so these are 100 ISO. As you can already see, the A7 R5, when both zoomed into 100%, is zoomed in 200%, sorry, is zoomed in slightly more. Um, you know, there's not much to see here. You can see a shitload of detail down in this bit. You can definitely tell there's a lot more detail there which you can't really see down here. Um, but that is not what we're looking for. So 200 ISO, again, there's not really a massive difference. This is zoomed in, as I said, 200%. Um, you can see a little bit in the shadows here, but like nothing that you would ever notice, not zoomed in to 200 there. If you wanted to peek, you probably could see something there, but absolutely nothing really. Up to 800 ISO. You can definitely see some noise creeping in here, but again, that's zoomed in a long way. You can't really tell when you zoomed out. Same thing here. Alright, this is 1600 ISO, same thing, you can see slightly more noise starting to creep in, but once you zoomed out, you can hardly tell. Now one thing I did notice is the A7R5 starts to get like a greeny tinge coming into it at higher ISOs, and the dynamic range just all up is a lot better, like if you look down here, you can see the, the difference between the white and dark spots a lot better than you can down here. And it actually made the whole image, if you're concentrating on the shadows over here, it makes the whole image look darker, but then you look over here and you're like, oh, it's actually not that dark. I thought it was underexposed to start off with. So now we have 2500 ISO. And that's still perfectly fine. 4,000. Again, that's perfectly fine. When you zoomed in a shitload, you can tell. 8,000 ISO. Again. It's starting. The A7R5 is starting to get a bit more noise creep in. The thing with the R5 is the noise is more of it, and, but it's smaller. And one of the things that I've noticed is in a shot where there's a lot of detail and you want to try and retain some of the sharpness, you can denoise it more and still keep the sharpness. That's ISO 10,000. Again, there's definitely you can see, you, know, you can see down here. There's definitely a lot more noise compared to there. It is zoomed in more, but zoomed out. That's still a pretty usable image. Uh, this is sixteen hundred. And as I said, with this, you can you, know, you can already see it's starting to get a bit fuzzy around the edges here, whereas this is a lot sharper. There is more noise, but the actual sharpness through that noise is better. And this is just the last one that I did. Real zoomed in. What I might do is keep going. What the 
Xbox game then. You can start to see a bit of that greeny tinge come in up here and down there. But it was easily fixed in post. The images that I've done in the past, I feel like you can almost get rid of more noise that you can than you can on the A7 III, just with that noise being smaller. It keeps the detail of the, the sharp spots in the image that you want to keep. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. It was just a small comparison. As I said, that was something I was looking looking for upgrading to the a7r5 and no one had it online so i hope that helps you guys out if you did like the video let us know down in the comments or if you fucking hated it let us know too always take a bit of criticism and um yeah if you liked it like and subscribe and i'll um catch you in the next one thanks guys